Hello and welcome to JW Solar USA. Today is just a battery maintenance day and uh, I just want to show you these are my batteries in my battery bank and I just started offloading them off from the battery box as I'm doing the process here. These are 6 volt batteries, um, 225 amp hours. So I have more of these batteries that runs my entire house and with all the good stuff. These batteries are awesome, awesome, awesome batteries. I'll definitely recommend them big time. And these batteries, they can handle a lot of abuse. They can, uh, you can use them the way you want. And uh, these are AGM batteries, folks. Well, not that cheap, but anyway, it's a good, good product here. You know, if batteries, uh, any battery company stand by their, re uh, by their reputation towards their own batteries, you know, I will definitely, definitely recommend them if they work good and serve the purpose, I will definitely recommend them and do a video review of this uh, entire battery bank but you guys can see the review on my uh, channels and go there and see the reviews for the batteries so these batteries are really good and uh, it might be not good for somebody else but they are good for me and because I'm the one gonna be I'm the one using them there are a whole bunch of uh, batteries out there battery manufacturers so there is no way you can pinpoint which one is better than the other unless you like them for you know the company reputation or the customer service or whatsoever you 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 have in your mind for liking that particular batteries but these are AGM batteries they don't produce any fume, fumes I take that back it's just probably limited Fumes because they have gas. Um, uh, uh, there's a little hole, like a pinhole, that discharges, uh, giving like give them thing to breathe. They can see they can they're easing for um, uh, a period of time when, ex especially when they are in a float, no absorb mode, you can hear, hear them easing. But it doesn't mean um, these batteries will kill you compared to uh, other batteries that uh, no AGM or whatever it is. But I'm not here to discredit anyone's battery. I'm here to show you few of my batteries from my battery box, which um, I'm doing some maintenance on the system. And uh, I try to, I'm trying to, uh, do some wire management and put some kind of uh, some few device I want to put in. You guys will see when I'm done. I'll show you whatever I'm up to. But I'll definitely recommend these batteries. Uh, six volt batteries. They are not 12 volts. You have to have two of these batteries to give you one battery, which is a 12 volt. All right. For the amp hours, absolutely. I'm happy with that. And uh, if I can have um, more batteries, I will take them because batteries are always good to have. You will never go wrong with batteries. You can have as much as you can to store your power. Because the problem we have in renewable energy is a, a problem of storage. All these solar companies, all these uh, solar huge giant solar panels, all that kind of stuff, manufacturers... We they haven't come up yet to a, um, a plan how they can store this energy. We produce the power, but we don't have enough storage. This is the problem that is going on, folks. Believe it or not, you guys already on uh, solar. You see, the problem is doesn't mean this um, they can't store it. But if we go back in the day, batteries are not cheap. Batteries are never, ever cheap. Batteries are always expensive. They've been expensive. 
So even if they come up with a new technology of batteries, it's just a waste of time. I would say that. Like it's a waste of time because people normally say, oh, I'm not buying batteries. I'll wait till the price drop because now they're building lithium ion batteries. They're building nickel ion sulfate, sulfate and they're building all these um, cool gadget Tesla batteries. Folks, what I would say, if you have the money, buy your batteries and start your project. Don't be waiting for batteries prices to come to fall down because it's not going to happen. Right now, you buy your batteries, you continue your process. Some people already hold on into the project because they're waiting for batteries. They're expensive. They will never come down. The price don't even fall back. No, the more we look at, let's go back to the history. Flooded acid batteries, sea lead acid, they've been around for a long time. But the thing is, you know, um, those prices ever fall? Take into consideration the, the cost of your battery in your car. Anytime about to replace a battery in your car, you're always like, oh my God, this battery always happens. No, this car always gives me a hard time. When it comes to winter, my car doesn't start. The battery again. Oh, the battery. That's one of the things that people complain about batteries and transmission and all the good stuff. These are all, these are very important thing on the uh, uh, motor vehicle. It's important to solar, wind, anything, flashlight, anything that you use, we operate in this world or earth is run by battery. There is a way we have to have a, a source of powering the certain things. Even though we shut down the generator, we have to have a place where we store energy. This is the thing right here. These are batteries that, uh, these are all a lot of money into this. But you know what? It worth it. Because I'm not going to be sitting down waiting for these guys to even uh, drop the prices. Because it's never going to drop. If they said to drop the prices, maybe you can see a few bucks here or whatever. If you buy many or so, 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 they'll play that politics with you. But to be honest with you, buy your batteries and start your project. The longer you wait, you're wasting your time. You will never accomplish what you want to do. This is what you want to do. You better do it now or else you will never going to able to do it if you're waiting for the battery company to lower the prices so you can able to utilize the batteries for your benefit. Kudos. Go ahead. This is just an experience. This is just all my life. My lifetime. I've seen batteries never ever cheap. This is the reason why people go with grid tide. And they don't want to use batteries. But the problem about Grid tie, you put your power during the day. At night, you have nothing. And secondly, when the power goes down, you are down as well. But um, battery backup system, when the power goes down, you would never know. You just got automatic transfer switch. Your house is always going to be powered. If your batteries are charged, if your batteries are not charged, then you're going to be in trouble like anyone else. So I encourage you to buy batteries, buy good batteries that I think they work for you. <clears throat> I'm talking about the batteries I have here. So I'm not convincing you to buy these batteries if you don't want to. Because I'm not a sales rep for this or I'm not the manufacturer. But hey, if the manufacturer want to advertise with me, they think my video is helpful to them. Come on in and uh, Give me different batteries, I'll talk about them. I'll test them and put them into my channel and show my people how these batteries can take abuse, how these batteries can withstand anything. I have the weather for it. I expose them to certain temperatures if you look at them. They have um, this one, I think the specs on the sheet there. You can see um, they, will, they will give you the specs of temperature that they can able to operate well. You know, it's a regulated, uh, a valve regulated lead acid battery. So these are um, AGM batteries and um, the, you don't have to water them. You don't have to take care of them, but you have to keep an eye on them in case something happened. 
you can able to uh, do something to save these batteries not to go bad. But proper charging, proper absorb and float. Make sure anytime you use your batteries, you take your batteries down, make sure you bring them back up. That's the truth. That's the fact. You know, it helps your batteries and they last longer. When you treat them right, they will treat you right. This is the, these are all the things that uh, comprises with batteries. Some people have batteries. Forget about them. They think it's just, you flip the switch, is that's it. You have to keep an eye on that battery monitoring system. The battery management system, you monitor your batteries. You see if they are healthy. You have a midnight classic. You can check on it if you, it's going to tell you the last time the batteries went on float or absorb or full charge when you connect it to the local app. When you have a, a um, Outback, it's going to tell you on your uh, 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 FlexNet DC or on your Mate and everything, the information is there. Different thing like, uh, 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 um, um, you know, with all these other companies, they have their own uh, Victron. They have all the, you know, uh, Bogart, uh, Trimetric. That's why you need some of those. If you don't have a Classic, then you have to have a trimetric. Never neglect your batteries by looking at just the voltage you think they still okay. The amperage probably fall below the threshold. The voltage, by the time you notice the voltage goes to 24 or whatever it is, 23, never bring your batteries 23, 24. I'm not recommending you go 24 volts. Drop down your batteries. That's bad. It makes the batteries really sick. And when you're trying to recover them, they're not going to come back um, the way it's supposed to. The life expectancy of the battery you already took a chunk of years out of those batteries. The battery is supposed to last for 10, 12 years, depending on the manufacturer. Some of them go up to about 20 years. We like the Outback, uh, um, Outback REs. You know, they gives you all this long time, uh, long longevity of the batteries and all the good stuff. It depends what you want to spend. You know, the Outback, you can spend one battery over 700 and some dollars, seven and a half hundred dollars for one battery. It depends what you want to do. You want to go that road? Go for it. Because trying to get a good quality battery, you don't have to replace batteries every two years or six years or five years like other batteries. I'm not here to name names. I'm not here to... Um, or uh, discourage someone from batteries, whatever they have. Some of them, some people have batteries already work for them. They are kind of low-grade batteries. They work for them. So, it depends to the individual. Sometimes when people normally say, you can, I can race you, I have the fastest car to do this. Sometimes you have the fastest car, but someone is going to beat you. Even that car is not that fast because it's not sometimes the car is the driver. So, this is the thing. It might be not the batteries, it's the owner that operate those batteries have the issue. But they tend to blame the batteries like, oh, yeah, it's the batteries are junk. But let's check it out and see. It might be you the one that have the problem. So always, always try to treat your batteries just like you treat yourself. You know, you give yourself a you, uh, 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 time, you give yourself some medication, you eat well, get some vitamins and all that kind of stuff. The vitamins are all like you charging these batteries properly. And that's how you're going to work for you. JW Solar USA, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.